right, so this is how to check your ignition timing on a 22RE. Directions in the manual are on IG15. You need a 12 millimeter wrench, a paint pen, um, a little piece of metal wire. I recommend something a little bit thicker than a paper clip because sometimes it doesn't make good contact if it's too thin and then you need your timing light. And you're going to start, take your paint pen stool if you need it, because you really do need to be like up in here looking straight down. So if you need a stool, now's the time to grab it. So the reason you need the paint pen is if we can get this to focus. On your, um, you have a timing tab. Okay, sorry, my video cut off there and I didn't realize it, but essentially... What you're going to want to do with your paint pen is find on your timing tab, which if you look straight down the front of your engine where all your belts kind of come together on this pulley, um, there'll be this timing tab. And you fi find your five degree mark and you highlight that with a light colored paint pen like white or yellow that you can see easily. On your balancer, there's a little notch you want to mark that as well. If you can't see it when you first look down, um, just kind of follow the edge around and um, see if you can find it. If you can't, get under the truck and look from the underside. If you can't see it from the top, you should be able to see it from the bottom. If you can't see it from either direction, just put a 19 millimeter socket on your crank bolt and turn counterclockwise until you find it and then just mark it with your paint pen. It doesn't have to be lined up with anything. If you find it over here, you can mark it over here. If you find it on the bottom, mark it on the bottom. You just hook up your timing light and I think they're all essentially the same. They're all gonna have a negative and a positive and negative battery cable. You hook those up red to red, black to black. And then you're gonna have a little pickup lead that you want attached to your number one spark plug wire. It has a little square there that goes around the wire and there's a arrow pointing towards the spark plug. So you put that on your spark plug wire. And make sure it's um, all the way around. And then if your spark or if your timing light has a tachometer on it, there's going to be a fourth connection point for that. And that's going to attach to the negative lead of your coil. So you've got your four connections and then your timing light is hooked up. Now this says to run the engine until warm. So with your engine running and your tachometer hooked up, you'll see it says, you know, roughly we're at 750 right now, which is where we should be if our idle is set correctly. Then the next step is, it says to short terminals T and E1. And it says in your cover where they are. So you just find those two. And this is where you're going to stick your little wire in there, putting it in, I guess, diagnostic mode. And you'll see when you get your little pins in there, you're going to see that this should drop about at least 50 RPMs. Okay, cool. So you want that in there good. It's got to stick in there the whole time you're doing this. See? And your check engine light should have started flashing as well inside the vehicle. And once you have it hooked up, you can see that light flashing. That's telling you when spark plug number one is firing. And ideally, we want that firing on the five, on that five degree mark. Let me see if I can get a video. and we are off. So the five degree mark is our white mark. And when this flashes, you can see that yellow mark on the balancer is hitting more towards the 12. So how we adjust that, I'll show you. So here's your distributor. There's this adjustment bolt with a slot that it slides in. You want to loosen that until you're able to move the distributor with your hand. And you'll hear it, you'll hear the engine change as you move the distributor. 
Hear that? See the difference there? So you have to, as you move it, I'm not gonna be able to do this on video, but you hold your timing light down on your balancer and you keep watching for that flashing light and you move your distributor until the five degree mark and the mark on your balancer start lining up at the same time when that light flashes. I'll adjust it and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, can you see how the two lines are lining up together at five? So that's when your timing is set properly. However, I will say that I know my engine does not like five degrees, so I am not going to put it to five degrees. And I want you guys to try to listen and see if you can hear. This is five degrees. It's not happy right now. So I need to advance it. I need more. Sorry, my video keeps cutting off, but um, what I mean by advance is when I had my timing set at five degrees like I did in the video, the engine just wasn't running well. And you'll be able to tell the difference. It doesn't take an expert. Um, so I advanced my timing, which means I turned my distributor so that my spark plug was firing instead of five degrees before top dead center. I adjusted it to be firing around maybe eight or 10 degrees before top dead center. That means the spark plug is firing sooner when your piston is lower in your cylinder before it gets up to five degrees, it'll, the spark plug will fire sooner. So you're advancing the timing, you're making the spark plug fire sooner in the upward stroke of that piston. So if you're advancing timing, your number will be higher. If you retard timing, it will be a lower number. It'll be closer to the top of the cylinder. So when you've got your timing where you want it set, you just go ahead and um, tighten up this guy so your distributor doesn't flop around. And then when you pull your pin out of your little ports, you're, you'll notice if you still have your timing light on it, the timing light or the timing marks will advance on their own several degrees. So you're just setting your base timing in diagnostic mode. And when you take it out of diagnostic mode, the engine will advance it a little bit. So just set it to that five degree mark. You can wiggle, there's a little bit of wiggle room. If you feel like it's chugging a little too much at five degrees, you could advance it until you feel like it sounds and feels a little bit better. And then you tighten up your distributor and then you remove all your wires and you're good to go.